Hello my friends of Hattari Labs, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is for the representation of anti-clients and sign clients in QAS. So let's start. So we have a project here that you are going to receive and then we have some lines that is called some geological lines. Okay, maybe I will turn off some of these. I have some geological and also the map units. Okay. Uh, the map units are slow because I have set up some labeling. Um, and maybe I can get rid of the labeling, otherwise, it, my tutorial will be so I can get without, without labels. Apply and set. Okay. So here we have some geological lines. And on the geological lines, well, we have many types of geological lines, but we have some anticlines, we have some sine clines overturn, we have some dikes, and uh, well, there are the f these are the fifth types that those are under the type column. Okay, so uh, but we have in the description of the of the video on the on the folder that we are going to provide you, we have created four. Um, we have created four types of geological line: one for anticline, and the another one for overturn anticline, one for syncline, and then another one for overturn syncline. Okay, so we are going to apply this symbology to our anticlines. So what do we do? We go first. Uh, by the way, you are going to receive all the um, a compressed this the compressed version of this folder in the description of the video, so you can recreate this. And it is strongly recommend that you place this compressed folder under your documents in order to to have the same paths as we do. Okay, great. So here on the geological lines, we are going to create. We are going to go to properties and then in symbology we are going to do a rule based symbology something like that my mine is in spanish but it's something like that so we are going to create five rules but first let's create one rule that it will be which one let me check the ah, sorry i have a um, so the first one will be the anticline, anticline. Okay, so and this will have the type. So type equals to anticline. No, anticline, yes, okay, great. And then here, what we need is a, a type anticline, syncline. Okay, so we this is a simple marker, simple marker of 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Okay, and the color is actually I don't know if this is a standard, but the color actually came from a, a, from a base map that I am using that is this map done by the USGS where it has some symbology here and it has that it states that the sync light has the magenta color okay so I don't know if this is a kind of a standard and, and I think that this will be related for the strictly um, depending on the on the color on the this will be strictly dependent on the on the country but well let's fix let's work that this is the color to represent synclines and anticlines okay so here we have to select this color so we are going to select some color and the code here will be uh, 236 236 Zero, one, four, one. 
Okay, so this is the magenta, this is the code. Mm -hmm. And I think that you modify those in these trees, these, on these three, three values. Okay, so this is our simple, okay, however I, I see a dash here, let me check. Solid line. Uh, uh, without without effects okay great so this is our anti line and I will what I will do is that I will um, copy this many times why because and um, the this line is actually applied for the four types okay and then we are going to add a SVG marker to each line so in order not to define this it, I mean, in order to shorten our process what we do, it will do control C, control V, control V, control V. So we apply five times, four times the a copy of this, and then we go back to the first one and then say, okay, so here we have, then we are going to add another layer, and this will be a marker, marker line. And here on the marker, this is marker in Spanish, okay? So you are going to use SVG marker, SVG marker, and then you are going to use the anti client marker that we have provided you. So this is on documents uh, here on geological symbols, you have the geological line anti client. Okay, there are some more, there are a few more uh, conditions here. The size is six and the spacing and this is the spacing among markers is on the central point okay this is on the central point why because as we will see in the this is in order to imitate the original information because here we see only one symbol okay if you want to have more like distributed symbols you will you will use a separation However, in this case, and just to mimic this map, we are going to use it in this way, just on the central point. Okay, set. Okay, so here we have the anti -climb, and then we are going to do the same, and then, for example, here, it won't be for anti -climb. it will be when type is equal to, or unique, anti climb overturn so this is anti climb overturn accept and this is overturn anti climb overturn anti climb and what else what else what else what else we can do anti climb overturn Ah, okay, so we have to add another line. So, and it will be a marker line. And then the marker will be the market uh, SVG marker. And the SVG marker will be related to the one that we have provided. Anti line overturn. Okay, great, great. So, here the size is six. And as well, this one is on the central point. Okay, great. Then we have the this one. We will be sign climb, sign climb, and it will be of type type. Oh, type. Sorry, type or unique sign climb. Okay, and this will be sign sign client. Sorry, sign. Sign client. Mm -hmm. And 
this will be marker and the marker will be SVG and it will be sign client sorry it's it's wrong and yep okay and here on marker this is type 6 size 6 and here is only on the central point okay and then we need one more for overturn over turn sign client sign client okay so this will be type type sign client over turn okay and then we add a marker and then here on marker this will be a uh, SVG marker and then here it will be sync line overturn okay and this will be of size 6 6 and this will be just on the central point accept apply and that's it this is everything you need to do okay so here you have your syncline anticline overturn anticlines overturn synclines and this is it so if we get the orientation points and the contact and faults we have a fully feature uh, we have a fully feature a geological map okay and um, so and maybe the reason of to do this is in order to show that you can do all this stuff with QES and so there is no limitation to use this tool to use QES in order to create awesome maps geological maps and even hydrogeological maps okay my name is Olmo Toya from Hatari Labs remember that you will have all the documentation of this tutorial in the description of the video we hope to see you in coming tutorials and have a great day. Bye bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.